Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the College of Education, Psychology and Social Work. Um, this is the orientation session for postgraduate social work studies. Um, so many of you who watch this recording um, will be online students who are going to be uh, doing most of your studies online. Um, so I particularly welcome those of you who are interstate um, and coming to do uh, the Master of Social Work. We have students from all over Australia um, who do their uh, studies online. So a lot on the East Coast, quite a number in WA, um, as well as a few in the Northern Territory. Uh, we also have students in remote South Australia. And then for those of you who are local to Adelaide, also a warm welcome to all of our domestic students and then in particular to our international students who form a very large part of the Master of Social Work cohort, as well as some of the graduate certificates. Uh, many of you who are new to the Master of Social Work um, and are coming in as international students will just be arriving. So no, no doubt you're... Um, pretty overwhelmed by being in a new country um, that's unfamiliar to you where nothing makes sense and you're still having to find your way around, uh, please rest assured that things do uh, begin to make sense and feel less overwhelming um, after the first few weeks and particularly when you start making connections with other students. So let me introduce myself. I'm Janine Harrison. I'm the Master of Social Work Course Coordinator. I've been at Flinders now for, I think it's 18 years. I've been a social worker since 1988, which is possibly before some of you were born. Um, so it's, um, it, you know, it's going back away. Um, I still love um, being involved in social work and involved in social work education. My favourite thing about my job is interacting with students. Um, so I really look forward to meeting all of you and having um, contact with you. And if you're in the Master of Social Work, you certainly will be having contact with me. Um, so let me um, acknowledge also um, very importantly that I'm doing this recording from my office, which is on the Bedford Park campus on beautiful Ghana land. Um, and it's really important for us as social workers in particular to acknowledge the ongoing ways in which Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in Australia are impacted by colonisation, oppression, racism, um, disadvantage, and, and in the work that we do as social workers to understand um, how sensitively and carefully we need to work with people um, who have been affected um, by that ongoing um, history. So, yeah, we're very lucky um, to be on this beautiful Ghana land. Um, I'd like to give you firstly... Um, while you're still concentrating, um, some key dates that are really important. Um, so Connect Week for new students at Flinders is from the 26th of February to the 1st of March. And there are a lot of events during Connect Week that are um, that you're encouraged to take part in. Um, you can have a look at the calendar, the orientation calendar to find out more. So there's things like live music, picnic games, uh, fairs, um, and so on. And for those of you who are actually physically present in Adelaide, we really do have a lovely campus. Um, we're very lucky. Um, and I'd encourage you to try and make use of the activities on campus during Connect Week. Um, there's a specific event on Monday, the 26th of February from 12 o'clock um, in the Oasis Common Room on campus um, called Feast of Strangers, which is an opportunity for you to meet each other um, and some of the staff from social work. Um, and you also hear from some students who are further along in the program than you are, um, who will give you some uh, tips and support and advice. And it's free um, and you get a barbecue lunch and drinks um, on us. Also, on the first day of the orientation, um, which is the 19th of February, um, 
I'm doing this session live um, in one of the lecture theatres for the students who are attending, but there's also a welcome lunch for all of the students in our college, and that is in the courtyard of the Law and Commerce uh, building, um, which um, you'll find on the campus map. Um, so there's also a drop-in session. If you have any questions regarding your studies, um, the drop-in session is on Wednesday the 6th of March from 12 till 2 p.m. Um, in the Education Building in room 4.69, and you'll have an opportunity to meet um, some current students, uh, people from Student Administration Services, Work Integrated Learning, Careers and Employability, and I'll be there as well um, in case you have any questions about the postgraduate programs. So, uh, speaking of postgraduate programs, I'll just very briefly um, go through with you um, some key information about um, our postgraduate programs. Many of you will be coming into the Master of Social Work through the Graduate Certificate in Society and the Individual, which is a foundation program for students who don't have sufficient uh, social and behavioural sciences background in the undergraduate degrees. So welcome to those of you who are coming through from the graduate certificate. We also have a separate graduate certificate in trauma responsive practice, which is coordinated by my lovely colleague Nicola Trenorden. Um, and some of the students in that graduate certificate do end up getting credit for some of their topics and transferring into the Master of Social Work. And then the Master of Social Work is the main focus of what I'm going to be talking about. Um, so I'm sure that when you were thinking about coming into social work, you did some research about what it is. Um, but just to make sure that we're all kind of on the same page in the Australian context, um, the Australian Association of Social Workers, which is our key body, um, that uh, has our education and accredits, accreditation standards that we have to uphold at Flinders University. Um, and they use a global definition of social work that says it's a practice-based profession and an academic discipline that promotes social change and development, social cohesion, and the empowerment and liberation of people, principles of social justice, human rights, collective responsibility and respect for diversities are central to social work. It's underpinned by theories of social work, social sciences, humanities and indigenous knowledge. Social work engages people and structures to address life challenges and enhance well-being. Um, so the Master of Social Work is a 72 unit postgraduate program. So it's a graduate entry program. You have to have an undergraduate degree. It's taught over a two year period full time. Unfortunately, international students don't have an option because of your visa requirements. Um, but those of you who are not on a study visa do have the option of going part time if you choose to do so. So the mode of delivery is both in person and online um, or a blend of both in some cases. We are fully accredited by the Australian Association of Social Workers and we review by them every five years to make sure that we're meeting the accreditation requirements. And in those reviews, they really scrutinise what we do, which is why we need to be really careful that um, all students who do social work with us are meeting those requirements um, and are therefore eligible for membership of the AASW when they graduate. And just as a side uh, note, um, because I've been here for such a long time, I've stayed in touch with so many of our graduates um, and it's really lovely to see the career paths um, that graduates from social work um, embark on when they finish. And some of them have come back um, and become part of our teaching team. Um, many of them um, are in very senior positions in their roles out in human service organisations. And yeah, it is really lovely to see uh, what happens with our graduates once they're finished. Um, so uh, we are bound by the AASW graduate attributes, 
um, which you'll find in the Australian Social Work Education and Accreditation Standards. I'm not going to go through them in detail, but just kind of in a nutshell, some of the things that you need to be aware of because we're bound by these, is that across the course of your studies, you will be repeatedly assessed on your ability to work in accordance with the ISW Code of Ethics, um, to be professional in the way that you behave and in the way that you represent the social work profession, to be able to work respectfully and inclusively with a diverse range of people, to understand broader systems and policies that impact on human beings um, to be able to understand and use a wide range of theories and methods, um, to think critically about your practice, uh, to work effectively in a team and communicate with a diverse range of people, um, to manage and record information um, appropriately, and to participate actively and appropriately in supervision and ongoing professional development. Uh, the Master of Social Work Graduate Entry Study Plan, um, you can download that for yourself, uh, but that's in a nutshell um, what uh, makes up the 72 units across the course of your two years. Um, two of your topics are field placement topics that are nine units, so they double the normal units. Um, there's a first placement topic and a final placement topic, and both of them are 500 hours. And one of my colleagues from field education will be doing an orientation session with you that explains more about uh, the um, field placement program and what you can expect and what you need to know beforehand. Now, in the first semester, you have four topics, all of which are prerequisite topics for first placement. So you have to pass all of them before you're able to go on your first placement. Um, I'm the topic coordinator for social work with diverse populations, um, so I'll be meeting all of you in that class. And then I'm also helping to look after another topic um, at the moment um, where you'll have a lot more contact with your tutors, um, but I'll be um, helping with that topic. And that topic is uh, practice with individuals, so at 8020, and that's because we currently have some staffing gaps, but we have an amazing group of tutors who will be supporting you in that um, topic. Um, and you'll find out more about those topics from the topic coordinators when you first meet them and when you first go onto the topic flow sites. Flow is Flinders Learning Online, and each topic has its own Flinders Learning Online or Flow site. Right, uh, regarding your study plan, if you have any questions or you're not sure about your study plan, um, it's best to ask the course advice team in our college. Um, if you need assistance regarding your enrollment or your study plan, you do so by sending an Ask Flinders request. Um, so I'm sure um, within Orientation Week, you'll be finding out more about how Ask Flinders operates. But almost any questions you have, you can send via Ask Flinders and they'll be directed to the right person. Um, expectations in the postgraduate uh, program, so the Master of Social Work and the other two programs as well, we have inherent requirements um, for social work. So things that you need to have um, as a person and be willing to embrace in order for you to be um, suitable for a profession like social work. Um, and I encourage you to read the inherent requirements and think about them particularly in relation to field placement. We also have a charter on professional conduct for student social workers, which you can access through the MSW uh, course site once you're enrolled. Um, and there's also information about recognition of prior learning for those of you who've had three years or more of human service related work that, and you may be eligible for recognition of your of learning for your first placement, you can get more information about that on our website. Uh, the Graduate Certificate in Trauma Responsive Practice, um, just very briefly, um, it's an 18 unit program also offered within our college. It's mainly undertaken by people who are in human services who would like to further their learning regarding 
trauma responsive practice and working in a trauma informed way um, with the um, clients. Um, it can normally be completed in one semester, which is six months full time or the part time equivalent of one year. And again, if you're interested in that uh, postgraduate diploma, uh, sorry, graduate certificate, um, you can get more information about it on the website. Um, I'm also going to very briefly go through some top tips, information and resources um, that hopefully will be um, useful for you as um, starting students. Um, I also meant to, to say earlier on uh, the odd photo that is up here with ducks in it is because one of the things Flinders campus is well known for is our resident ducks. We have a lake um, in the middle of the of the campus um, and we have um, a lot of ducks. Um, there's actually even a Facebook page called Flinders Ducks uh, or something like that. Um, and um, it's, it's a bit of a sort of thing about Flinders that we have our our ducks, um, and we actually have a lot of other wildlife around campus as well. I've um, had several occasions to be able to cuddle, almost cuddle a koala, um, and we also have possums and we have beautiful bird life here. So for those of you interested in wildlife, nature, animals, um, it's also a really good campus uh, to be on. Right, um, so first of all, Wi-Fi access. You all have Wi-Fi access through our network, which is called Eduroam. You use your FAN, which is the first four letters of your surname, plus four numbers, um, and your Flinders password to be able to access uh, Eduroam wherever you're from uh, for your study purposes. Um, for new students, um, there's a link um, called Compass, where you can get information and support um, re regarding any questions you might have. And the information is up there on the slides. Uh, your student ID card, uh, you can also order through Compass and you can physically go and get your um, ID card organized in the library um, in a, in the, on the first floor of the library. Um, enrollment and registration. I'm not going to go through those details um, with you. It's not really my area. Um, and especially uh, the kind of details regarding administration. But there's information there about how to enroll in your topics. And if you're stuck, um, you can speak with one of the college course advisors who will help you within your enrollment. Also remember that we have that drop-in session on the 6th of March if you need um, help with anything um, in the first few weeks of your studies. Um, getting familiar with your learning environment is really important, so understanding that we have Flow, Flinders Learning Online. Um, it's our learning management system, which we use Canvas for. Um, and each of your topics has a, a Flow site. The topics go live seven days before classes commence. Um, so some of them may even be live for you now. Um, and you can find out more information about uh, Flow by having a look at your orientation page. Transport, uh, the various ways of getting onto campus. If you bring your own car, you can organize a parking permit. Um, and you can look on the website for how to apply for parking. There's a train um, with a stop uh, that comes right up onto campus um, and also goes to the city. Uh, there's a bus service um, that comes right up onto campus as well, um, up to University Drive and Registry Road. Um, and there's also a free loop bus um, that takes you around to different parts of the campus. Um, you know, if you have lectures that are far apart from each other, and particularly for those of you who have um, disabilities and need easier access um, to places that are far away. Flinders, I have to say, for those of you who do have mobility issues, it's quite a tricky campus because it's quite, it's on a hill, um, so there are lots of stairs. Um, and if you need help with access, you can speak with one of the disability service 
um, coordinators through health and counselling who can help you with um, finding your way around Flinders and finding out where the lifts are and what are the easiest access um, points. Because it is a bit of a rabbit warren. Um, scholarships, there are scholarship options for some students, so you, you don't necessarily have to be a top performing student to be eligible for a scholarship, so have a look over there to see whether any of those scholarships may be relevant to you. Safety on campus, it's important that all of our students are safe um, from harassment, from um, uh, unacceptable behaviour, that people are treated with respect and dignity. And if you have any concerns in that regard, um, it gives you contact details there um, to be able to get in contact with someone um, who can support you. We also have security staff on campus 24 hours a day, and you can always um, call security um, if you need help with anything. I have to say, I come from South Africa, which is a bit like the Wild West compared to where we are here. And my experience in Australia is that Adelaide is incredibly safe. Um, of course, things happen here occasionally, but by and large, it's an incredibly safe place to be, um, which is really good for our students and our staff. Um, Health counselling and disability services is very important that you know that there are services available for you there. Uh, large proportions of our social work students make use of the services there, including counselling. Um, OASIS is a community centre um, which has a range of programmes and a support network for students. A lot of our social work students um, use the services at Oasis um, and find it very, very supportive and just a lovely environment um, to be in. So I'd encourage you, if you're in Adelaide, um, to investigate that as an option. International Student Services also here to support you if you're an international student. Um, there are lovely team members in the um, International Student Services Unit um, who are there to answer any of your questions um, if you need information. Um, other services, you can access um, student success and wellbeing advisors, the conversation groups at Oasis, they are equal opportunity advisors. We have a pride network, which I'm part of, which um, is to support LGBTIQA plus staff members and students to ensure that our campus is welcoming and supportive and sensitive regarding um, LGBTIQA plus students and staff members. We have a Good Vibes experiment, uh, which I'd encourage you to find out more about. It's all about creating a respectful, safe, um, welcoming environment for all students, um, regardless of their range of diversity. Finding your way at Flinders, um, there's an online orientation topic called Finding Your Way. Um, I'd encourage you to go through it. There are videos, uh, there are tricks and shortcuts um, that it'll take you through um, to help you to find your way in the early stages of being at Flinders. Um, top tips, <laughs> um, visit uh, flow at Flinders to get started with your topic flow sites. Keep an eye out for PING, uh, which is a newsletter that goes out to students. Uh, connect with new friends, uh, with Flinders mates. Um, for, there are social pages in, on Instagram and Facebook. Um, there's a Flinders University Student Association. There's also a Flinders University Social Work Students Association, um, which has several people on it who I know very well and have been the most amazing students. Um, and I encourage you to make contact with them and also consider being on FUSWA um, if you're interested in playing a role as a leader amongst um, social work students. Um, if you need help, um, uh, there is information at the support link um, on the Flinders website. Um, so 
obviously, because this is a recorded session, I can't ask you whether you have any questions. Um, if you do have questions, you're very welcome to post them on the Master of Social Work course uh, site. Um, I will go in there as often as I can to answer questions. Colleagues of mine will also be answering questions. You'll also have opportunities within your topics uh, to ask questions and we'll try and be as visible as possible in the first few weeks of the semester so that you get opportunities to ask um, staff members questions. Also, I can assure you we're nice. Um, we, most of us, um, really love interacting with students. We love meeting our students. It, it, it can be really daunting when you see how big the classes are. But we really like to get to know students individually. So please come and say hello um, when you see us on campus. Um, and don't be scared of asking questions of any staff member um, in social work whom you meet. So having said all of that, bombarded you with a whole lot of information, which is probably a little bit too much for you to take in right now. Um, I would really like to welcome you again to our social work program and wish you absolutely